something special. Just saying. Great to see you, Alex. Take care. All right, a quick programming note. Join us tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern for our town hall with South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. Newsmax Rob Schmidt will host the event at the Reagan Ranch Center in Santa Barbara, California. So don't miss that again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. And still ahead this hour, is the man who shot Ronald Reagan no longer a threat? We're going to check in with senior White House correspondent John Gizzi with a big update on the status of John Hinckley Jr. Don't go away. Any idea how your mattress affects your body and how well you sleep? Is it too hard or too soft, causing you to wake up with sore shoulders, back, or hips? Are you uncomfortable because you're too hot or too cold? Now you can get the total body support you need and the better sleep you want with the new MyPillow mattress topper. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. When I invented my new MyPillow mattress topper, I made it to have everything you'd ever want in a topper. My mattress topper helps give you the support you need, helps relieve your pressure points, and regulates your body temperature for you as an individual. It comes with a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry the cover. It's made in the USA, and I back it with my 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to MyPillow.com or call now to get your very own MyPillow mattress topper. Use the promo code, and Mike will give you 30% off and two standard MyPillows absolutely free. Order now. MyPillow topper delivers on its promise to give me a better night's sleep. I can sleep all night through, and it's a miracle for me. Mike's exclusive three-layer design starts with a layer of MyPillow foam, providing you superior support and comfort. The second layer of transitional foam evenly distributes body weight and helps relieve uncomfortable pressure points for optimal comfort. Mike's Ultra Soft Outer Layer is a patented temperature-regulating cover that helps keep you at your ideal sleeping temperature all night long. Unlike other sleep systems costing thousands, the MyPillow mattress topper takes comfort to a whole new level without any wires, remotes, or moving parts. Call now or go to MyPillow.com to order your MyPillow topper. Use the promo code to save 30%. When you do, Mike will give you two of his standard MyPillows absolutely free. That's right, two standard MyPillows free and 30% off your MyPillow topper today. Order now. I personally guarantee it's going to change your bed into the most comfortable bed you'll ever own. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Hi, I'm Jimmy J.J. Walker. If you're on Medicare, listen to this. I called the 1-800 number to see what extra Medicare benefits I could get. An actual person answered, looked up my zip code, and boom! I was offered extra benefits like dental coverage, including dentures, extractions, fillings, plus prescriptions, transportation, meals, and so much more, all at no additional cost. And then I asked about the benefit that adds money to my Social Security check. And get this, I'm entitled to an extra $100 a month. That's $1,200 a year added to my Social Security check. And I was like, Dino my. Call the 1-800 number on the screen and see what you may be entitled to. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-418-3014. That's 1-800-418-3014 now. The Great Reset, the Green New Deal, trillions in deficits. John Kerry says that'll happen with greater speed and greater intensity than people imagine. Bernie Sanders now runs the Senate Budget Committee. Sanders can't wait to pass policies addressing, quote, structural problems in American society, even if he has to stretch legal boundaries to get them through. Bank of America forecasts that the Democrats will inject $4 trillion in deficit spending in 2021. Goldman Sachs says it's time to buy gold, the currency of last resort. Call Patriot Gold Group today at 800-798-4260. Learn how easy it is to invest in physical gold and silver. Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs' top-rated dealer five years in a row. They are Patriots serving Patriots. Call now, 800-798-4260. All right, welcome back. John Hinckley Jr., the man who tried to kill President Reagan, has been granted an or unconditional release. 
For more on this, let's welcome in Newsmax senior White House correspondent John Gizzi, who joins us now live from Washington. Uh, so, John, I imagine there's a little bit of controversy surrounding this decision. Well, there certainly is, because there's still quite a few people who have that scene of 1981 edged in their memories. And that is the recently inaugurated President Ronald Reagan being wounded outside the Washington Hilton Hotel and later coming within inches of losing his life. He survived, but White House Press Secretary Jim Brady would be incapacitated for the rest of his life, and three Secret Service agents were wounded by the assassin's bullet. John Hinckley, of course, was only an attempted assassin, but what he did is still well remembered. In June of 2022, Hinckley, the son of a prominent family in Colorado, was sentenced to life imprisonment after being found not guilty by reason of insanity. Five years ago, based on his behavior, he was out, allowed outside the prison facility and has been taking care of his mother in Williamsburg, Virginia. But that's not unconditional. He's visited regularly by authorities as well as a prison psychiatrist and is part of a therapy group. With the psychiatrist re retiring and the therapy group disbanding, it was concluded that Hinckley is now, and I quote, a low risk for future violence and he will be released unconditionally. Now this won't happen immediately. There are nine months to go when he'll undergo further examination and tests. For now, one thing remains, he is still forbidden to contact actress Jodie Foster, his mm. obsession leading to the shooting of the 40th president. John? Interesting though, he's not allowed to talk to Jodie Foster, though he is allowed to post videos to YouTube though. Uh, John, some people pointing this out last summer, or I guess this summer, that he was posting music videos to YouTube when so many people had been banned from the platform. Also, while we have you, John, wanted to talk to you about this Virginia governor's race. It's going to be a bit of a problem potentially for Democrats, closer than expected. Uh, President Biden's approval numbers have continued to slip there, according to a Rasmussen poll. But we haven't really seen any joint campaigning efforts, right, with the president or the vice president like we saw for Gavin Newsom out in California. Is that uh, telling us that they're not quite popular in Virginia? Well, as of today, that is the case. Whether this will change, we may hear from White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. Right now, it's not just Republican Glenn Youngkin, but his two ticket mates for Lieutenant Governor and Attorney General who are running ahead of their Democratic opponents, according to the latest Trafalgar poll. This is a first, and it's something that's sure to draw attention to their debate between Youngkin and McAuliffe tomorrow evening. Yeah, John, with all these uh, federal contractors in Northern Virginia, there was some thought that Virginia might be lost to blue forever. But this, uh, these races you just mentioned there could prove us all wrong. Great to see you. John Gizzi for us at the White House. All right, coming up, President Biden about to get a vaccine booster shot. We'll take that live for you if we can get it also. We're going to have Eric Bowling join us. We'll talk about this $3.5 trillion spending plan that actually won't cost you anything if you believe the White House. We'll talk about Liz Cheney's change of heart when it comes to gay marriage. What this tells us about her re-election campaign against a Trump-backed candidate in Wyoming. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Brought to you by MagnaLife Pain Relieving Foot Cream to target symptoms of nerve pain. Suffering from burning, tingling, or stabbing pain in your feet? Get relief with MagnaLife Pain Relieving Foot Cream and get living. Also available as a 360 degree spray. Hello, I'm Mike Vendell, inventor of My Pillow. For a limited time, you can get premium My Pillows for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98 with your promo code. That's a $40 savings. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so that you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that stays healthy, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. 
I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. For a limited time, you can get a premium my pillow for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. That's a $40 savings with your promo code. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Do you feel like the way you clean your ears at home doesn't work well enough? I felt the same way. But then I tried the WaxRx Ear Wash System. WaxRx was designed by a doctor and it's the same system used in medical clinics. The reusable WaxRx system has everything you need to effectively remove earwax at home without the inconvenience of a doctor's visit. You should use the Dr. Trusted WaxRx Ear Wash System. You can get it now at Walgreens and Walmart today. We are experiencing instability on every level. Our government is in turmoil, the economy is fragile, and disasters are threatening our infrastructure. Americans need protection over their finances. Legacy Precious Metals helps protect your retirement through investments in gold, silver, and precious metals. We can roll your existing IRA into a gold IRA, and we are the only company that allows you to open your account online in just five minutes. Now is the time to protect your family's future with gold and precious metals. Call and speak to one of our IRA experts and build your financial legacy with us. Legacy Precious Metals. Have you experienced the delusion cascade? It is where one person without knowledge or facts condemns something in society and the masses join them to bully and protest. Where does this sweeping behavior of being uninformed or ignorance come from? I share this origins and the agenda in my new book, in hope for this present crisis, Dr. Michael Yusuf presents a seven-part plan providing practical steps on how to be a godly influence in our society and how to take a stand for our faith in a culture aggressively opposed to the truth. There is hope for this present crisis if we act now. This book is now available to you for just the cost of shipping and handling, $4.95. And if you order today, Dr. Yusuf will also include the action guide, practical questions and answers for this present crisis. Call or go online today for your free copy. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor and CEO of MyPillow. My employees and I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for all your support. I would like to tell you about my new platform, frankspeech.com. It's an amazing new broadcast network and social media site with great shows, including my own live show, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Also, you can go to frankspeech.com now to get the best prices on my pillow and my store products. For example, you can get my six pack towel set, normally $109.99, now only $39.99 with your promo code. And if you buy one of my Giza Dream Sheets, you get another one absolutely free with your promo code. So go to frankspeech.com now and use the promo code on your screen or call the 1-800 number below to receive these exclusive MyPillow offers. Thank you and God bless. All right, welcome back. 1 p.m. here on the East Coast, 10 a.m. on the West Coast. I'm John Bachman. Thanks for staying with us. We are waiting to hear from White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, who is about to hold a briefing soon. The Biden administration continues to face backlash over its new vaccine mandates and its handling of the border wall. Also, we expect President Biden to get a vaccine booster shot himself at some point this afternoon. We will bring that to you live as soon as we can. Now let's talk about the border a little bit more. Neither the president nor the vice president have been down to Del Rio, Texas to see the crisis firsthand. That was left to Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The White House also continuing to distract from the real problem, that being illegal immigration. They are pursuing an investigation of those mounted Border Patrol agents who've been used really as boogeymen by the media and Democrats. Now earlier we spoke with North Carolina Congressman Ted Budd, who just returned from a visit down to the border, and here's what he had to say about this. It is an absolute tragedy. It's worse than it's actually being described, even on the most con conservative uh, uh, media. It, it is Border Patrol agents that say, look, we want uh, an administration that has our back. Yes, we want to finish the wall. Yes, we need more funding. Yes, we need to stop demoralizing our own agents. But we want an administration that has our back and has good policy. 
Now, it is a busy day on Capitol Hill for Democrats trying to save President Biden's agenda. Their massive spending plans are unraveling at this hour. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi pushing back on her original plans because of deep division inside her party. She doesn't have the votes right now, so a vote scheduled for today has now been pushed back to Thursday. Let's find out more about this from Newsmax national correspondent Logan Raddick, who joins us from the Capitol. Hey, Logan. John, it's all about the numbers when it comes to passing President Biden's $5 trillion agenda. But before the Congress gets to that, the Senate is voting today on a continuing resolution to fund the government with a uh, deadline looming, a government shutdown likely on Friday. And even if the Democrats get all 50 members of their caucus to vote for this continuing resolution today, they still need at least 10 Republicans needing 60 votes to break a filibuster. But the House is about to begin debate on the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure package that passed the Senate and Speaker Nancy Pelosi thinks she'll have the votes by Thursday. Let me just say we're going to pass the bill this week. I'm never bringing a bill to the floor that doesn't have the votes. President Biden's back from a weekend at Camp David, where he spoke to lawmakers urging them to support his multi-trillion dollar spending package after his advisors spent time last week lobbying here on Capitol Hill. But the president refuses to address serious concerns about his spending proposals, particularly his three and a half trillion dollar reconciliation plan. Every element of my economic plan is overwhelmingly popular. Overwhelmingly popular. But the problem is, with everything happening, not everybody knows what's in that plan. And here's one eyebrow raising element. The Biden administration is proposing to require banks to report any deposit or withdrawal of more than $600 to the IRS. And right now they're only required to report transactions of $10,000 or more in cash. Biden's plan would also provide $80 billion to expand the IRS, adding 85,000 agents with a plan of increasing the corporate tax and capital gains tax. And the president and Pelosi are brushing aside any worries Americans may have about this massive spending. It is zero price tag on the debt. We're paying. We're going to pay for everything we spend. This will be paid for. So when some say, oh, well, what about inflation? It will be paid for. And that's the, the beauty of it, by having those in our, our economy and society who have not paid their fair share, paying their fair share. Now, Democrat leadership is in a tough spot right now. There's about eight progressives in the House that want to see more out of reconciliation. So Nancy Pelosi will try to appease them while keeping the moderates in her caucus on board. And in the Senate, uh, they need Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, the two most moderate Democrats in the Senate. So to get this agenda done, it's really trying to bring the progressives and the moderates together. And that will be a difficult task, John. Certainly not the position they thought they'd be in at this stage of the game. Logan Raddick for us on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Logan. All right, let's welcome in now Eric Bowling, host of The Balance here on Newsmax TV. Catch him every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. Eric, great to see you. I have some questions. Now, Good to see you, John. You yeah. used to work in the world of high finance. So explain to me how this works. I mean, you guys do some magic stuff, but uh, $3.5 trillion, it costs us nothing. How can I get one of these deals? Yeah, how can we do that? Because it's, <laughs> it's the same old political um, jargon, gobbledygook or what it really is 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 bs and lies they they always say it's it's paid for it's paid for meanwhile nothing's ever paid for our debt continues to slam yep. straight through the roof you know 28 29 trillion dollars we're going to be 50 trillion dollars by the time joe biden or kamala harris leave office nothing's paid for it and here's what here's the here's the joke of what, what's going on here the republicans say look they can't do it without us. The reality is they can. The Democrats can do it without the Republicans. They can go straight down the party line and go ahead and do it. So they go after Kirsten Sinema. They go after Joe Manchin, who are Democrats. At the end of the day, what do politicians love to do, John? They love to spend our money, both sides of the aisle.